Yo, what's up? It's your boy Jack, and welcome back to Spelunky 2, Tips and Tricks, Volume 2. Did you find you a bow? Did you lose your arrow? No worries, you can actually use any arrow in here. I recommend just triggering an arrow trap and you can use that arrow. Although keep in mind, other arrows won't stick to the wall like the blue one. Got you a mount? Did you know Derek actually added Yoshi jumping to the game? Just get you a mount, jump, jump again, and uh, just be free. You can touch totem heads after they're fully extended. Whoa, these losers can't pass through webs. You can curse bosses and make them into one hit kills. You can freeze bosses, and also turn them into one-hit kills. Man, if only you could go inside those doors. Oh, wait! You can whip liquids! Curious about the possibilities of Yang's Vault? What are you really saving the turkeys for? Well, I'll tell you. Yang's Vault contains three tiles. Each tile has a 30% chance of being gold, a 30% chance of being a gem, a 20% chance of being a chest, a 10% chance of being a crate, a 5% chance of being a bone block or a pot, and a 5% chance of being nothing. So think about those turkeys that you're taking all that time out of your day to save. Is it really worth it? But on the bright side, if you save all the turkeys and give them the Yang, it increases the turkey spawn rate throughout the rest of the game. The spikes from these traps can't reach you here. Did you forget the UJI? Or just don't really have a way of getting to Vlad's castle? Abuse a chain block and have it make you a route all the way down. It could take a while though, so this is definitely easier if you've found the clover already. Or maybe you took the jungle route and now you need help finding the black market. If you have a compass, on the level of the black market you will see two arrows appear. If a level has a moon challenge, then you can know for sure that the black market is not on this level. Also, the level of the black market will play the black market's theme in the back layer of the level. Now you just gotta find a door. Whenever you're facing Almic and you're on phase 2, Almic will shoot 3 bomb volleys before doing nothing and floating around like the airhead he is. But every time you knock him down, his counter will reset and he'll throw 3 sets of bombs out again before again floating around like a big airhead. This is pretty helpful for predicting Omic's movement and for helping you get more comfy with the battle, so take advantage of it. Make money quick by breaking the ghost vase before you leave every level. Keep Quillen by duplicating his Yushabi before it hatches and taking it to the next room. Duplicate it again before it hatches and bam, you got Quillen in Sunken City. Need a reliable way to kill a shopkeeper? Move all the explosive items over here into the corner, lure out the shopkeeper, Throw a rope in front of him so he's stunned. Pick up his gun and. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Oh, I don't see so. Some levels have multiple exits, but no matter what exit you put the pet through, you will still receive its love no matter what door you leave yourself. If you have the four leaf clover, you will always be teleported to max range. Telepacks will emergency teleport you right before you get damaged, so you don't get damaged. This means whenever you steal them, you are guaranteed to get teleported away from danger. Um, sorta. It's still possible for them to teleport you into some other form of danger. Whenever you're going through doors, you actually get invincibility frames. So whenever you want to check a back layer or front layer, it's best to go in and leave, go in and leave, just kind of spam this, and it actually makes you kind of invincible, just so you can get adjusted to whatever environment you're dealing with, whether it be in the front layer or back layer. And just to make this door trick a little easier, if you place a bomb within range of a door, it will deal damage in both the foreground and background. Did you know you can actually identify if a skeleton is alive or not? It's kind of weird, you like, you really gotta pay attention, but uh, I mean, now that you know this exists, you can probably adjust to it. Spamming a jetpack doubles your vertical possible height, as compared to holding it. Whenever you're being hunted by Tun, she will appear after 30 seconds in every level, starting from the entrance. Killing Tun three times will actually get her to forgive you. Keep in mind, you cannot whip shopkeepers, ton, tusk, aggro NPCs, or helping hands to deal damage to them. I've learned the hard way. And those are some tips for Spelunky 2. Now get good.